Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Chris, and I am your real world doctor with a background in information technology. And here I am, the Tech Talk Doc, solving your tech issues one video at a time. Please subscribe, like, and share. What's going on, guys? This is Chris, your Tech Talk Doc. Welcome to another video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you subscribe, thank you for coming back. Hit the bell button, the like, the share and get all of our latest videos sent to your inbox. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung TV. Many of you have them, I do. I've got quite a few of them. I just like it because it connects to all my different devices, smart things through Samsung. But you know what really upsets me? Is when it switches to Samsung TV Plus and it does it automatically. And it did it automatically and I returned it back to normal to Go to my cable, which is Fios. So, why does this happen, and how do you fix it? That's what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. <laughs> Samsung has pushed out updates at the end of 2024, 2025, that enable Samsung TV Plus to become the default input anytime. So, that's a problem, and it could happen when the TV wakes from standby or there's a weak or momentarily lost HDMI signal or auto run smart hub or auto run last app is turned on Samsung TV plus is not disabled these are the times when it can happen so you need to go through and look and see if these are the situation but that causes the TV basically to override my Verizon Fios and put on HDMI 1 and load the Samsung TV Plus automatically and it's not that I don't like it it's just that the first thing I want to do is I want to go to Fios but the good news is you can permanently stop it which is good so let's figure out how to do it with our fixes disable Samsung TV Plus completely which will prevent the app from launching by itself but step one turn on your smart TV if it's not already on so right now I'm gonna show you how to actually go about deleting all the Samsung TV Plus apps in order to completely disable that app from becoming default and starting when you turn on your TV or the signal goes out or it goes into hibernation and comes back. First step, step one, is let's go to the source and we'll go to Samsung TV Plus. We want to hit the channel list that's the ch list then what i want to do is go to all channels and down to edit channels in the bottom i'll click on that and it's going to open up this you see on the right side here on the right side you see select all i'll select all and it shows 539 out of 539 channels have been selected. I'll now go ahead and hit delete. This will delete all of the channels as you can see here. All right, and then I'm gonna go over to save and exit. So this deletes all of the channels. If I wanna restore them all, I'll hit select all and restore. And save and exit. Now I'm going to show you is one of the features that will make sure that this is fail safe and that's going to your settings down to general go over until you see smart features. Now you'll notice smart features that are highlighted in blue are enabled you do see auto run Samsung TV Plus, you want to de or unselect that. You want to unselect that. And this will ensure that Samsung TV Plus is not functioning and not going to be the one that comes on first. It should default to your HDMI 1 or your cable. You could also make sure auto run last app is deselected as well. Any questions, let me know. Again, this is Chris, the Tech Talk Doc. Thank you for watching. Please share, please subscribe. 
hit the bell get ready for later videos coming up thank you for watching chris the tech talk doc see you soon